Hey everyone, I am back in Colorado, but let's talk about DC. No excuses, I was ticked off. They wouldn't let me do my job, so I didn't take the vote. Once again, Washington's power machine shoved a multi-trillion dollar bill down our throats, refused to allow debate or amendments, disregarded everything we fought for in January to actually allow representatives to do their jobs. And instead, they served us up a crap sandwich. Call it a no-show protest, but I certainly let every one of my colleagues and the country know I was against this garbage of a bill and against bypassing the voice of each representative. Deals cut in the dark are why we are headed towards $36 trillion in debt, and I refuse to be a part of it. There's absolutely no way to ever justify adding another four to six trillion dollars in debt. This is more DC self-created garbage that I will always fight against, says a Republican, except for during former President Donald Trump's presidency. Congress raised the debt limit with bipartisan support and no budget cut preconditions on three separate occasions in 2017, 18, and 19 per Snopes. And according to David Jolly, Roughly 25% of our total national debt incurred over the last 230 years actually occurred during the four years of the Trump administration. But Representative Lauren Boebert wasn't in Congress at that time. As for that no-show protest, Morgan Rimmer of CNN would determine that was a lie. They just closed it. They closed it? Yeah. Who knows what Bobert was doing instead of making it to that vote on time? I wouldn't believe her no matter what she said. With that in mind, over the weekend, it was reported that Bobert confirmed to the Daily Beast that she and a man who wrestled as Stan Lane both took DNA tests in the past month that confirmed that he was not her father. Lane, whose real name is Wallace Stanfield Lane, had been the subject of a paternity suit and public accusations by her mother, Sean Roberts Bentz, dating back to the mid-1980s. See, with a stigma like babies being born out of wedlock being placed on black communities, it would be nice if a congressperson could point out how, based on experience, children born to unwed mothers is more of a symptom of poverty and lack of education than skin color. Quote, Lauren Boebert's mother had her at 17 and doesn't know who the father is. Lauren had her first child at 17 and her son impregnated a 15 year old. This is what generational poverty looks like. It's not black or brown as much as it is rural, uneducated and overwhelmingly white. The point is, Lauren Boebert couldn't be relied upon to do anything for those suffering under cycles of concentrated poverty, let alone make it on time to a vote on a bill, which also doesn't help the working class. Because even if she believed in personal responsibility, it doesn't mean that she holds herself accountable. Thank you for watching. Jessica Burbank called it. Ron DeSantis wants to make America, Florida. This teacher can tell you what that's like. The link to that video is in the description below. My content can be found by clicking the Jeff Wiggins hashtag or visiting my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. And as always, my architect knows Japanese.